Did you know that you can add and subtract rational expressions? Let's take a look at an example, and then we can talk about how to do this. Because rational expressions have a fraction bar, in this example it's here and here, we use the same rules for adding and subtracting rational expressions that we would use for adding and subtracting fractions. When we add and subtract fractions, you have to have a common denominator. The same is true with rational expressions. If you look at this example, x plus 2 is common in both. That's our common denominator, and we're going to bring that over into our solution. Now we can look at the like terms in the numerators. 6x squared and 4x squared can add together, together to give us 10 x squared, and then we have positive 2 and a positive 6, which gives us a positive 8. So our final answer is 10x squared plus 8 over x plus 2. Let's look, a, look at another example with a common denominator before we look at how to handle one with an uncommon denominator. Here's another example. Now notice right away that x plus 4 is our common denominator. We can bring that right over into our solution. This is a subtraction problem, so we have to apply that. Let's take care of the like terms. 3x minus an x leaves us with 2x and we have 4 minus 2, which leaves us with a positive 2. Our final answer is 2x plus 2 over x plus 4. Now let's look at a situation where we have an uncommon denominator. 3 over x minus 2 plus 4 over x plus 6. We don't have a common denominator here. However, we can create one. We can create one by using both of these as our common denominator. We're going to rename both of these rational expressions to have a denominator of x minus 2 times x plus 6. Plus, I'm going to do that here too, x minus 2 times x plus 6. Now, in this first expression, x minus 2 is already present, so we multiply by x plus 6. What do we do to the denominator? We also have to do to the numerator. So let's make this 3 times x plus 6. In the second rational expression, we already had x plus 6, so we're going to multiply by x minus 2. So let's do that to the numerator, 4 times x minus 2. Now we have renamed both of these rational expressions. Now, our next step is to multiply out the numerators. That way we can combine like terms because we are adding. 3 times x gives us 3x plus 3 times 6, which is 18. And all of that is over x minus 2 x plus 6. Addition here. 4 times x gives us 4x. 4 times a negative 2 gives us minus 8 over x minus 2 x plus 6. We can extend this line out a bit. Now we can combine like terms. We have 3x plus 4x is going to give us 7x in our numerator, 18 take away 8 is going to give us 10. And our denominator stays the same, x minus 2 times x plus 6. This is our final answer, and our work is complete.